It is Grand National Morning and here are Grand National Horses. It's entry on the Saturday of the world's greatest horse race and some of these boys behind us will be taking part in that race. We've got Raz de Marie there with the white face, Annabelle Fly behind him, Tiger Roll over there deeper on the race course. They're limbering out on the track this morning, having a pick of grass, stretching their legs, getting ready to try to become heroes a little later on today. This is going to be a thrilling Grand National. 38 runners as I speak. We've lost two today. Regal Encore and Walk in the Mill. They're both out of the race uh, having suffered late problems. That still means though we have 38 horses trying to put their name on the Great Races Roll of Honour. They're racing on ground that is described by Clark of the Course, Andrew Tulloch this morning, as heavy, soft in places on the Grand National Course, soft on the Chase and Hurdles Course. And although we have got good races on those Chase and Hurdles Courses, everything leads to 5.15 when the eyes of the sporting world are on this part of Merseyside. So many potential great stories in a race that always deliver stories, particularly with the chance that this could be the Grand National in which for the first time the race is won by a female rider. Bryony Frost, Katie Walsh and Rachel Blackmore will all head out to the starting tape with legitimate hopes of winning this fantastic sporting contest. James Bowen will be trying to become the youngest ever jockey to win the race on Shantou Flyer Scotland bidding for back-to-back -back wins with two chances of doing that, including with See You at Midnight, bought early this week by Patricia Thompson, who in 1992 bought party politics just days before he won the Grand National. We still don't know who will be favourite for the great race. That's often the case at this time on National Morning. Total Recall, Annabelle Fly, See You at Midnight, Black Lion, just some of those bidding to become favourite and more importantly, bidding to become the Grand National winner itself.